<laughs> so yeah, this one seven X is very unpredictable. You you never know what they will end up doing. Mm -hmm. And if of course the standard rules of astrology always hold true. If there are Raj Yogas, if there are Mahapurush Yogas, then the the person has a higher capacity to achieve things in that area of the person. Otherwise, the person is just sitting and expecting for that perfect thing to happen to him. <laughs> like most of the people, you know, my, 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 when my dasha will change, when will my life change, you know, my, my dasha has to change after all, right? Only then my life can change. Without the dasha change, how will my life change? Because the dasha planets are over my head and they are, you know, eating up me. So see, this Dasha planet is giving me depression. So I must drink. There's no other option. So yeah, so if, if that's the behavior, then you know, it's very difficult. And also the omens are very important. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. yes. So I have seen if sometimes you do a personal reading and uh, if it's about marriage, and it, it has happened to me twice till now. Okay. That thing was there and I was about to see the horoscope then I get a message in my whatsapp and then one friend wrote to me he had a fight with his girlfriend I mean the current, currently both are married that time she was his girlfriend and he had a fight they, they have not talked from last one month or something like this mm -hmm. then this personal question is about marriage you understand mm -hmm. right right Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I have seen some any some good news comes mm -hmm. like the one uh, couple had approached me for this uh, baby, uh, childbirth. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly uh, I was doing the reading and I mean I was about to look at the person. I was looking also, but I was not analyzing. It was just that the chart has opened, mm -hmm. and then my mother called me and said, "You know, oh, uh, this uh, one of your that." Our family friend, his uh, their daughter is getting married, or some some something like this has yeah. happened. So then I also saw that uh, the indications in that person is also very good. The fifth fifth lord was in lagna, and the lagnesh was in the lagna with the yeah. fifth. That means the person is very much interested in having children. And yeah, yeah. the day lord day lord was with uh, Uranus. I realized. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Uranus means. Something mm -hmm. or other which is not normal. Yeah. They had done all this IVF and all this. And somehow they had the childbirth. But it happened at the end. It was not like God knows when it will. Because I got that good news. So mm -hmm. I, I I understood that something very mm -hmm. good is going to come in this person also. Right. I'll, I'll also share one uh, similar example. One um, lady approached me for the second child. Uh, they have a daughter earlier and they wanted another child to give company I and mean, what all personal reasons they have. And she wanted whether I'll conceive this month or not. Then um, I noted the time and I opened Prashna. And I was about to read the Prashna and I was uh, curating notes what all planets are there and how uh, what will be the outcome like that. And instantly, my child, uh, he uh, came from his room and he asked me, Mama, can I have cornflakes and milk? That face, then I took this as an omen and it was a positive thing. Then a child is calling his mother for food. And the question in the Prashna was this only, whether I, I will conceive this month or not. And I got my answer. This was the greatest omen I felt. And, uh, you know, after uh, after a month, that was the period of uh, October when the, uh, this Navratri was approaching. And I asked that lady, uh, lady did you check your uh, thing, whether it is positive or not? And she gave me a positive reply. The omens play a great uh, role in uh, prashna as well as in the birth chart. Whenever you're sitting, uh, whenever you sit for the reading and you're getting these uh, certain omens, nature is giving you the answers, right? Before uh, before you jumping into the chart and uh, curating the chart like that. And I am a firm believer of omens that way. In fact, in fact, uh, the the fact is that. When we are checking that horoscope, actually, it's not that client's question. It is something which is happening to you live. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So when you mm. say that I have seen an omen, it means exactly which what that horoscope is telling you has happened to you just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that 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 is an indication that what the client is wanting. Are mm. you feeling it or not? If you are feeling it, then he will also feel it. Yes, yes. So when you say. Yeah. That, your uh, child came and asked you for the conflicts and milk. So what mm. is happening? Actually, the fifth house is playing the role there because, exactly. because it's happening live to you, right? Yes, yes. So you are seeing the chart at that time. It is as if like saying somebody is born in your lab that time at that place. Yeah. Yes, yes. So that mm. baby which is born in your hand, that is the woman actually which the universe has sent. Yes, so if that yes. is that is in line with what the person wants, then that will of course happen one hundred percent. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. Mm -hmm. Even in um, the classics, uh, so many women are mentioned. Mm -hmm. so many, you cannot even imagine. You know, it's like uh, one of my teachers once said. Uh, there was a group of in a village there was a like a group of astrologers sitting mm -hmm. and they were all male astrologers you know, all it's like that big male gathering you know 15 of them and then some one client came you know they were just discussing about rules and astrology techniques and all this mm -hmm. and then one person from outside he came uh, he also uh, was a man and he came and asked uh, what will uh, what, when when will I uh, when will I get married actually? Okay. Mm -hmm. So so this head head of astrologer he was telling him that because you have come to a group full of males. <laughs> you told in Hindi, तेरे को आज ही आना था इधर. <laughs> because that that astrologer himself is married he has a family and what happened was the funny thing was he went to his home before this client and then his mm. wife again another woman wife said no no go out he is not here mm. woman is sending you back <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. another clue <laughs> mm -hmm. woman is telling you cannot enter go out he is outside idhar nahi hai bahar hai jao bahar <laughs> And then the other clue was when he went, it was like a group of males, all these males are sitting and you know, they are there. <laughs> they, 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 without that only he said. And he said, you come after, you come after and because it is marriage, seventh house, he said, after, uh, come after seven months. Mm. Because mm. he calculated the lagna, the lagna was thira, so it's not days or weeks, it has to be months. Nice. Some calculation mm. he did, of course. Mm. He said, okay, marriage and uh, sat <laughs> Okay. And then after seven months, when he came, he again went to his home. That time he was available. And uh, what happened is uh, his uh, younger daughter was kind of playing with him. Mm -hmm. And then he said that you will get married, and uh, within he took he took note of the the daughter's age. Mm -hmm. the daughter was four months, something like mm -hmm. four four years mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. And then he made another calculation that in after four months of marriage, your wife will conceive something like this. He told. <laughs> mm. Deciphering the omens, right? That phase. Mm. Yeah, that time he converted the that seven thousand seven number seven to months. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because he was in a place of Mars, masculinity. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's no place for uh, water to enter there. Right. Emotions to take a long right. term to enter there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he said seven months, but maybe if Saturn would be involved, he would have said seven years. Who knows? <laughs> Possibly. And he's such an expert, he already knows okay, sun is here, it's the noon time, so Lagna will be this four signs. Mm -hmm. Then he knows where Saturn is. 
then he mm-hmm. might have calculated oh saturn is he linked to the ascendant or day lord something like that and he might have seen no mm-hmm. then after the seventh one on the seventh month again he came and then uh, very soon he got married <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. His wife also conceived, and uh, they also had a baby. So yeah, the omens are very powerful indeed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he said the first symptom was my wife told you go out. He is outside, not here. One minus from there only. Yeah, and that to the the he has two three kids. So mm-hmm. if the, if the boy the son would have told him, it would have been a different meaning. Mm-hmm. That would have mean meant that his child birth would be delayed. He said, mm-hmm. but because my wife told you, the wife is Venus. It's the lady telling you that go out. He's not here. Go out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like Venus is going out from your life. <laughs> so then you are not able to find. And then later on he found. So yeah, mm-hmm. many, many things. So it's like mm-hmm. are crazy, very beautiful. In villages, this happens. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And in fact, in villages, they also say. Uh, not in villages, even in cities, they say, you know, bole, kawa <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so uh, once what happened, one of my friend had come, even it's not for villages, for everywhere it works, even here in Germany it works. Mm-hmm. And so one of my friend, he had come and it was very weird something. I realized his, uh, his left side, his left eye was not blinking. Okay. Mm-hmm. It was like really very weird. You know, his right eye is blinking, left eye is not blinking, as if he has had some paralysis or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then he came and he asked me some questions about his horoscope, and then I saw this crow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Crow was hovering around. Then I know definitely it is something to do with old age or disease or something. Right. So then he told he got a disease by which his left side is paralyzed and Mm -hmm. three years is younger to me, unfortunately. So at this age only. So but then so that was an indication that because Saturn represents old age. Mm. Old age, what happens when you're old? You can't move. So old age is like a paralysis only. Right. Mm -hmm. So now he is undergo he has undergone some partial paralysis or something like that mm-hmm. and it was very interesting he came to my home and mm-hmm. my home was in second floor 2104 mm-hmm. 204 sorry and mm-hmm. I don't know what happened to me I said ah, yeah, what will you sit in home let's go outside and then we went to the garden mm-hmm. garden we went and we sat there mm-hmm. And then I saw the that garden is again what it's green, right? Mercury is the another. Yeah. Mercury mm-hmm. is like pulling me there. Mm-hmm. And because it was around sunrise or around that morning time, Sun Mercury were one, two houses away from each other as usual, of course. And so Mercury was in the ascendant. Mm-hmm. And Mercury rules these uh, nerves. So he right. was having some problem in nerves and there was no communication and paralysis. Mm-hmm. Saturn was also very strong there. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I have seen these things happening all the time. Or sometimes, mm-hmm. as in India, also they used to say, if somebody would, was about to go out, mm-hmm. then uh, if the husband would go out and the wife would have a glass of milk and the milk would fall down, she would say, No, no, don't go, it's not auspicious. All right. Thank why you. Why, do, why did they say like that? Have, did you ever hear the water has fallen down? They say, Don't go out. <laughs> I know. Actually, they use, what I can uh, remember is they usually put a, a full glass of water or a full tumbler of water in front of the door. That is considered as a as an auspicious omen that uh, you are going out, you will come back with the full thing. The farmers' houses, they do that. Whenever they go out to sell their uh, harvest, you know, they put a full tumbler full of water. That represents the fullness. Fullness, whatever you'll uh, bring back home, that will be, you'll get the total amount of your crops and total amount of your harvest. That, that much I remember. But this thing, I don't know. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, yeah, that water can also mean that maybe your sustenance is, you know, continuing. Mm-hmm. Or it increases. And that's why 
Uh, I have heard in different Vastu and Feng Shui system also they say a fountain is very good if it is placed in a particular direction. But regarding this milk, I was telling that uh, why it is only with milk? Why not, you know, with uh, fruit juice or water or wine or alcohol or anything like that? Because milk is represented by the moon. Mm -hmm. So when milk has fallen down, it is like saying some mental or some family problem is coming. By Because of which the whole family is getting affected. Okay. So that okay. is why they would say that person would go out, maybe the person has a serious accident or the person dies or something like that. Because then the whole family is affected. <laughs> okay. Because the moon represents, moon is the most important planet, it represents your overall happiness. You know? So if that is only going down, then it is not considered to be a good omen in that case. Okay. Of course, it depends on so many other things also because... Uh, it is it is said in the scriptures, you know, that uh, the gods, the de the devatas will send you these omens, actually. Yes. I and to the degree you are elevated, you will see these omens. In fact, in Srimad Bhagavatam, it is very, very, very clearly mentioned. Mm -hmm. When Lord Krishna left this planet, mm -hmm. then Arjuna went, he did all the samskaras and then he came back. Mm -hmm. And when he came back to Astinapur, then Yudhishthir Maharaj saw him. He saw Arjuna's face and Yudhishthir, he is Dharmaraj Yudhishthir after all. His, his, his kingdom and his, his rule is, that's the pinnacle of Dharma. <laughs> Imagine the level of omens which you can see if you are in his kingdom. And imagine if you are Yudhishthir yourself, what, what you can see. Mm. In the first canto, there's a detailed description what Yudhishthir Maharaj says. He says, Oh, Arjuna, it seems uh, something, some calamity has dawned. Uh, I, I have heard the donkey's brain. Mm. And there are many other things which different versions say, you know, that this, there are many inauspicious animals which make sound you know, when something bad has happened. Right. Mm -hmm. And he also says, I think that the I see the clouds but no rains. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very bad omen that is. Clouds and no rains. Mm -hmm. And he gives a list of the omens that he sees. Mm -hmm. And then when Arjuna does not reply to any of these, then at the end he asks that has Krishna left? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. Then when Arjuna says that yes, Krishna has left, mm. then Krishna Maharaj also departs. Mm. He does not call a meeting there. Hey, you know, actually, you bunch of intellectuals, please come. Let's decide who will be the next uh, guy to sit there. You know, mm. uh, will it be my son, his son, your daughter, his daughter, whoever? I mean, son, daughter, granddaughter, grandson, whoever. Who will sit in the throne? No, nothing to mm -hmm. He goes and he uh, puts off his royal clothes. He takes white. <laughs> he takes a sadhu vesh and he starts walking the Himalayas. Mm -hmm. And the Pandavas, including Draupadi, they also follow him. So the, there's a long list of the women which are mentioned. Right. And they, they, these, uh, these every every animal is as you know nakshatra and animals, right? Mm. Every animal will uh, kind of be a witness for a particular nakshatra. Mm. So, so if that animal is making sound, you know that uh, somehow that nakshatra's themes will become activated. Okay. <laughs> like there was one consultation which I did. Um, was a lady, she was somewhere in France, I guess. And mm -hmm. when I saw her in Skype, mm -hmm. the background, her the wall mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. was having uh, snakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some snake drawing was there in that. Mm -hmm. So then I know snake means Rohini is involved in that. Mm -hmm. Something mm -hmm. with seduction or love triangle or 
your spouse is stolen by somebody else some something this some flavor like this was will be there and that that's what the consultation was about mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and by chance i also asked her which color do you like the most she of 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 course ended up saying i like red the most because okay. moni is red mm-hmm. so yeah the women are very powerful in fact i always see if i do a video consultation what the client is wearing correct okay. right right mm-hmm. the, i mean i have seen this time and again you wear the color of saturn <laughs> <laughs> you have had it the consultation is very difficult you were telling something the client is not satisfied mm mm-hmm. because okay. saturn is influencing that client you see mm mm-hmm. person is not agreeing saturn is dissatisfaction he is the karak mm-hmm. for dissatisfaction Right. So Saturn is involved, or if there are too many Saturnian things in that room, also I have seen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then your level of dissatisfaction will be very high. Not your, I mean the yeah. client, which will end up getting transferred to you finally. Yeah, I'll I'll also share one incident here. Uh, here I have uh, once I was doing one consultation and I was uh, thinking what all remedies should I give to that person, right? and uh, uh, we have a uh, have a terrace here and we uh, hear those sounds of uh, dogs barking and a uh, train coming and all right then i was writing those remedies for that person and suddenly i uh, hear the sound of dogs barking then i included that remedy uh, as if mother nature wants me to uh, feed dogs wants me to include that remedy of feeding uh, dogs and all then i write uh, then i wrote that remedy then i i am a strong believer of omens while writing remedies or while uh, deciphering even for the people positive or negative outcomes uh, that is there that is there omens they play a great part indeed mm-hmm. yeah in fact this is not only with consultations or anything negative or bad good it's with every area of life in fact i see right Mm. Yeah, I always remember this one exam when I was doing my masters here. The, I I was well prepared, of course, but then when I took out my pen, and I gave, it's not writing. Oh. <laughs> I failed by one mark. I just failed that exam. So it it always happens. I've seen to the degree you are. Actually, there is nothing called as omens. It's like very simple, you know, what the universe is trying to tell you. Ah, right. The thing right. is, we are so much disconnected these days because of you know mobile and all these addictions, you know, all this. I know. Mm-hmm. Like people tell me, you know, oh, there was a like, like people think you know some very crazy thing has to happen. You know, then that is a omen. Mm. Um, some very bad thing has to happen or some some great news you must hear mm. that's not true sometimes i have seen i uh, i am about to meet somebody and then i uh, i'm kind of feeling a bit down you know <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. the interaction is also not good so it's that is as simple as that you know you are not feeling good the interaction also is not good it's as simple mm. as that i mean i don't I yeah i don't have to see a whatsapp message like i told in case of that uh, other person to see you know that uh, he has had a fight with his girlfriend mm-hmm. i don't have to see a whatsapp message mm-hmm. <laughs> but the problem is we are only so much disconnected from nature from our own self you know our own mind and the externals right we need yeah. to be more aware to see those omens to connect with those things right yes otherwise it's like like many times people say you know that uh, sometimes people their parents they call me and tell that oh can you please explain this to my son to my daughter you know mm-hmm. and then i mm-hmm. hear, okay what should i explain and they say oh can you tell them that you should do this and not this and then i'm like okay this 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 is a matter of common sense Mm. This neither the parent needs to tell on neither do I need to tell on nobody else. But mm. because that the that child is so much disconnected because of you know eating eating all this sugar you know, all all this non vegetarian food, 
टीवी टीवी इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक और सर इज द द बॉय और दैट स्मॉल गर्ल इज नॉट अवेयर ओनली व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन एंड देन यू कम एंड हैमर यू नो द रूल सेज खराब है ये अच्छा है ये दिस इज नॉट व्हाट इज एंड देन मैं लाइक व्हाई यू लेक्चरिंग ऑन रूल्स मैन आई जस्ट वांट टू प्ले यूजिंग माय आईपैड व्हाट द हेल आर यू टू टेल मी व्हाट शुड आई डू and then i'm like yeah if you only don't know then who the hell am i to tell you what you should do right <laughs> so i mean uh, it's it's very simple the more you are aware the more uh, the more you will be able to see the things which are already there actually yeah true true mm-hmm. and here is the thing about in, uh, what, what this intuition many times people say Mm-hmm. intuition is like sometimes i have seen it's very overrated sometimes like uh, many times i see people uh, they tell me oh okay i need a consultation uh, on my marriage i think i will have a divorce you know my intuition says i will have a divorce and i am like okay uh, how do you come to that conclusion so many times people uh, i mean intuition is good provided you are aware at a certain level otherwise is the voice of your mind nothing else mm-hmm. but today my mind says i i i will get this i will be happy tomorrow my mind says what is that see he has a better thing mm-hmm. so the mind is very subjective right so my guru used to say that if you are not aware spiritually mm-hmm. then that is not intuition actually many times people say na oh mere andar se ye voice aa raha hai no i am getting this voice is it my mind's voice or is it god's voice how do i know that mm-hmm. so yeah i also had once asked one of my gurus and he said it's very clear how to know if it's your whimsical mind suggesting or is it god who is suggesting it's very easy if the suggestion matches with what is there in the scriptures it is the suggestion it is the voice of god if it is not matching it is your whimsical oh. loose uh, mind which is the suggesting things which can always keep varying right so intuition and all this is good it can be used and it should be used mm-hmm. but that is good only after you have reached a certain level of uh, i would say spiritual maturity when you are when you are able to apply the teachings of the scriptures in your life right only after that you can trust it is your intuition otherwise it can be your voice of the mind and the mind is as bhagavatam says you know manorathe nasati dhavato vai today the mind goes in the chariot you know <laughs> like, uh, driver less chariot you know wherever you want you go you know people have this experience during meditation Right. they say oh meditation we will control the mind using meditation but then the moment they start to meditate the mind is like going hey why crazy right. mind is going to this place meeting that person all the all the anarthas are coming up the six anarthas mm-hmm. lust is coming up greed is coming yes. up and it creates a lot of mess sometimes therefore spiritual awareness has to be there because of which you can actually be rest you can actually be assured that yes this is what god wants me to do now what what god is trying to tell me mm-hmm. otherwise anybody can tell me tomorrow i uh, my intuition says you know i should go and kill this person they can say that Mm. that is not what uh, any sane man will suggest to you right that you should go and kill mm. someone so therefore the omens are very good and intuition is also very good and along with that we should cultivate our uh, self spiritually also right. only then we know it is actually an omen yes. otherwise it can be like just another thing happening <laughs> Mm-hmm. So we we may be hyper cautious you know anything happens it is an omen from the god you know <laughs> speaking through you know <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> you are sitting and you know such that the light goes off you know, oh my god what will happen my bank balance will go off or something like that so but that's the that's the tricky thing you know when when something happens which actually is an omen to understand for that particular situation 
that is actually the art of women's mm. 